Hi, Hans Lemerson here. Right, right here is a machine that I built recently, which converts binary numbers uh, on this uh, display here into decimal numbers on these big seven segment displays below. It works by executing steps of an algorithm, which converts binary to what's known as binary coded decimal, where every decimal digit is, uh, is encoded with four bits, of, with four bits. So it goes from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 0, 0, 1. But anyways, the important thing is that this gives you the, uh, it gives you the ability to convert uh, a binary number of just about any size into decimal. It's fairly easy to do it for small, you can, you can cheat a little and do it, do it easily for small binary, small bar binary numbers, like only four bits, but bigger than that, uh, a, the standard decoder method gets really complicated. This one, however, well, you just put in the number and it filters through and you get the answer. So that's 16. Add that in and that in. 21. And if we turn all of them on, we'll get it's processing a little there we go 1023 uh 10 bits of binary can represent numbers from 0 to 1023 and so this is a nice nice handy little device well <laughs> little it's not all that little the the meat of it, the stuff that actually performs the algorithm, is just these stacks over here. It's just re uh, a repeating unit like this, which ha takes four, four bits of input and then selects from nine different lines to give you a four-bit four output. It takes an input, gives an output, and uh, each the fact that they're slanted to the side like this is critical. It, because the, the largest bits have to be processed through the algorithm man, many, many steps, whereas the smallest bits need to only get processed through the algorithm in a few steps. Uh, oh, over here, I just this is just wiring to uh, to connect it to a compact display because have, having a having something every three blocks it's a little hard to control. Uh, now I I've actually had some practical use with this because it's not always obvious how to convert or what you know, how to get a you know, figure out how to represent a decimal number in binary so I can just if I get stuck and want to figure out how to represent 833 in binary, well, okay, I just, no, too low. Uh, no, still too low. Nine fifty. nope, too high. Seven hundred eighty-three. Okay, let's add some on there. Eight hundred forty-seven. That's too high. Ah, la 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 la. Eight hundred forty. Okay, let's try a little lower than that. About seven low lower. 833, excellent. That's apparently 11010000001. Yeah. But uh, you'll see the, the blue stacks over here, they do something a little different. They, they, they do the algorithm, but backwards in a special way to, that they can give you decimal number or decimal fractions.
well, more specifically, they convert binary fractions into, de into decimal fractions. This little torch here is the decimal point, or, well, in binary, is the, it's the binary point? No, I think it's... No, no, it's the radix. Yeah, yeah, I think it's called the radix. Uh, because it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to talk about decimal points when you're not in decimal. So, anyways, uh, just like in binary, this repre represents a 1, then a 2, then a 4, then an 8. This will represent a 1 half, 1 quarter, 1 eighth, and 1 sixteenth. So, 1 half here displays as 0.5. See, it, there's the decimal point there. Yeah, so 0 0.5000. Zero, zero, zero. I couldn't do fancy stuff of getting rid of the zeros like I did uh, on on the top. Ah, uh, yeah, and it can go all the way to show show how 1 16th is 0 0.625. Hello! And uh, it if you try to do really small fractions, though, it trims off the ends. So th this would actually be 0 .3, 0 0.003.9625 or something, something like that. It, it's a it's a small number, but I I wanted to have I, I wanted to have, to have enough decimal points that I could really that I could show most of these significant bits or most of the significant digits, and I think I've done that. Uh, so it this would this would be useful uh, if I were working making a computer that was going to do fixed point math. So a portion of the bits would represent uh, the the big numbers, and a portion of the bits would represent the fractions. So if I was doing that, then I'd use uh, a converter in this in this sort of architecture to convert it for a display, so you can read decimal on the screen. Down here are the seven segment encoders, which take the four bits of the the binary coded decimal, uh, which is represented in four bit groupings here. I like to color code things. And it converts that into the patterns of the the seven segments at the top there being either on or off. Each row here uh, corresponds to one of these uh, one of the segments. Upper right, lower right, bottom, and so on. What I've done is I have these are li these are lines of a decoder, which connect to a torch stack, and the presence or absence of a repeater or a torch because it the the signal get gets continually inverted, so you have to use use one or the other. So the presence or absence of that uh, codes for either a one or a zero. Or, or it c codes for either on or off, whether that segment goes is on or off for that particular digit. That's how you encode the information for uh, how everything is connected. No, for not not everything is connected. For how you how you display each digit. You can see that the number eight is being displayed right now, and Ah, uh, well, that line is, that torch stack is lit up. Or, it, it's sending out ones. This torch stack is sending out ones. That's the important thing. Right here, I have two of the modules uh, stacked on top of each other, just j just to show that uh, the 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 upper digit module and the the uh, the, the integer module and the fra and the fraction module, the one that does these. You know, the red, reddish orangish ones versus bluish ones. Yeah. Uh, they're actually the exact opposite. The, they do the inverse function of each other. So if you put any signal uh, that goes through both, or it just undoes the changes, or they, they both undo, they count perfectly counteract the, the changes that the other one does. And it works, uh, it's just a a decoder that selects lines and the torches will code for where there's a 1 on the output of the line being selected. The algorithm works uh, by repeatedly checking a group of four digits or a group of four bits 
and seeing if the value is 5 or greater. If, or, yeah, if it's 5 or greater. If the value is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, or more, actually it never, it never ends up being more. If it's, but if the value is 5 or greater, then the output is a number that's 3 more. So this converts the number 5, this will convert the number 5, so 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, into the number 8. And this module down here does the exact opposite of that. If it encounters a number that's 8 or greater, it subtracts 3 from it. So the lower module, when it's receiving an 8, will convert that back into a 5. And th this, for example, is what happens when you when you do point z point 0.1000, zero zero zero, it will convert that into point 0.5, which, which is half in decimal. Whereas point 0.8 is, ha is one half in hexadecimal. That may not have made too much sense to you, but that is how it works. Yes. Hi, Hans Lemerson here. I thought I'd show you something cool I, I built recently, instead of just utterly neglecting my YouTube channel. So, yeah. Hi, Hans Lemerson here. I thought I'd show you something cool I built recently. This is a device which automatically converts binary numbers into decimal. Now, there's a, the, the term binary to decimal converter or binary to decimal decoder has been used a lot for things that are just just decoders and don't actually produce decimal numbers. It's not a decimal number unless it's actually in base 10. And this will do and th this these uh, devices here with the slanty stacks uh, of modules they, perf they perform steps of an algorithm which converts binary into decimal. Uh, I actually went a bit a bit further and uh, figured out how to, how to make the algorithm work for decimal fractions as well. So you can see what what I have down here. It's displaying six point two eight five one. Now what I what's good what I like about the uh, the way I set I set it up with a bunch of stacked modules like this. Is that this is a this is a form of making the, the hardware which uh, the 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 bits constantly flow through. So it's uh, on a, on a con it's so salt. So, uh, how do how do you say it? Oh. Hmm. 